Hello, welcome to another set of readings of Lotus Love Tarot 555. Okay, you guys, I am back with your full moon readings. And I know you were saying you are late. And I know that I am. <laughs> but that's okay. We're going to crank those out today. We will not have any extended on the full moons, though. So I will not do any extended. And you guys, I say this all the time. And every time there's always a watcher that does not hear what I am saying. These are not full readings. How many times do I need to say that? These are not full readings, okay? These are just very many readings just to give you an idea of where you need to set your intentions for this full moon, okay? If you don't know how to set your intentions, go to our playlist under full moon readings, and I promise you the reading is, I mean, the uh, information is there, okay? We've done a video on it. Now, this is a full moon in Virgo, okay? So we know everything is going to be very earthbound, very relaxed, very organized. So if you have things that's out of order, I can promise you they are going to get in order. If you have anything lingering, you know Mercury is coming out of retrograde on March 10th. We still got a two-week shadow period, but it's not that, that heavy. Um... But if you have anything lingering in the court system or what have you, all of that stuff is going to come to head because it, every you're getting everything is going to be in order because that's what how Virgos are. They are very orderly people. Um, they're very uh, steadfast people. Okay. Uh, no nonsense people. And so all of this kind of stuff is going to get you to be able to. Uh, think if you're not one that likes to process and think through things this is going to put your mind in that order or something externally is going to force you to get things in order okay so once again we're going to do the reading from these decks right here it's a mini reading it is not a full meaning reading so each reading will probably only last anywhere from five to seven minutes so don't get angry <laughs> when it's only five to seven minutes because that's probably how long it's going to last I am coming up with your love forecast readings um, real soon, okay? Um, don't forget to follow us on Instagram, Lotus Love Tarot 555. Um, don't forget to um, understand that we do private readings, okay? Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like the reading. It helps us, it helps it go out a little further. And you guys, don't forget that the uh, readings will flip flop, okay? So if the message doesn't refer to you, uh, it could uh, refer to your your partner. And I think that is it. You can apply this to your sun, your moon, your rising, and for some, your Venus sign. That's it. On to your reading. Hello, my Capricorns. Okay, you guys, let's get right into your full moon mini reading. And again, I have said this in every re last video I have done today. I don't care how many times I say this. I always get one watcher to complain about how long and the length of the reading. This is not a full reading. This is just a mini reading, okay? So I'm telling you right now, you're only going to be with me about five to seven minutes. So let's just go ahead and get that out right now, okay? Um, the cards that fall are going to be the cards in the situ areas that you need to hone in on as you set your intentions. And if you don't know how to set your intentions, go to our full moon playlist there's a reading there showing you how to do it, okay? So, again, we are just giving you an idea of where to set your intentions. All right, so let's just get right into it. Holy Spirit, Divine Creator of the Universe, what messages need to go forth for the sign of Capricorn as they begin to set their intentions on a full moon occurring on March 9th, 2020. Wow. All right, let me check. Make sure we don't have any flippers. Sometimes they flip, and I don't feel them. All right. Okay, Holy Spirit, Divine Creator of the Universe, what messages need to go forth for the sign of Capricorn as they begin to set their intentions on the full moon occurring on March 9th, 2020.
Okay, Holy Spirit, divine creator, the universe, what messages need to go forth for the sign of Capricorn as they begin to set their intentions on a full moon occurring on March 9th, 2020. What messages need to go forth for the sign? Okay. Okay, Capricorns, my goodness. All right. You all got a lot of messages coming forth. Okay, Holy Spirit, Divine Creator, the universe, these messages need to go forth for the sign of Capricorn as they begin to set their intentions on the full moon occurring on March 9th, 2020. What messages need to go forth? Yeah, those popped out, and I started to try to push them back down in there, and I couldn't. So, we're going to take them out. All right, my Capricorns. So where are we going? Holy Spirit, divine creator, the universal messages need to go forth for the sign of Capricorn. As they begin to set their intentions on a full moon occurring on March 9th. What messages need? Oh my goodness! I the same thing happen here. I mean, your cards are literally like just popping up. Okay, let's see. Trust. This situation is calling for you to have faith. So whatever situation you're dealing with right now, you gotta trust and know that it is everything that's happening is happening for your higher good. No matter if it hurts, no matter if you're confused. You don't understand all of that is taking place for your highest good and you have to trust you have to trust and believe that um this situation is going to work out but you got to have faith you got to have faith tranquility make time to relax be still and enjoy solitude indulging in much needed self-care so this situation may um has have taken a may it, it probably has taken a toll on you and spirit is saying listen i need you just to rest and take care of yourself right now. So if you're one at night that's not used to taking care of yourself, you got to take some time and give yourself some self-care right now. Okay, whether well, it means getting your hair cut, hair done, nails done, pedicure, relaxation, going to get a massage, just taking some time out by yourself, at a going to dinner by yourself, just taking some self-care. This is important right now. And it's because Spirit is saying pay attention, see? Notice repetitious signs and your inner guidance as this can yield valuable information. So you got to trust and have faith, but you're going to have to work on giving yourself that your space right now. You have to give your own self. You have to have create the circle of protection around yourself right at this moment. So you can pay attention to what spirit is trying to tell you and guide you through whatever you're experiencing right now. Spirit is saying, have a sense of humor. When we get the sense of humor card, what that means is that you're very serious right now to the point it's kind of taking you out of your character, okay? So you got to, it goes back to self-care. It goes back to self-care. Spirit is saying, have self-respect. So whatever's going on, it could be taking you out. Once again, your personality is causing you to do things and behave in manners that, that's not um, who you are. And so Spirit is saying, have some self-respect about how you are addressing this situation. Have some self-respect self about how you're presenting yourself, okay? Because it's going to be a favorable outcome. So this is good. But you're going to have to do these things that Spirit is telling you right now. You're going to have to pay attention to the different signs that are coming on how to react and choices that you need to make for this favorite, favorable outcome to happen. Explore your options. So what does that mean? Before you make a decision about something, before you just hone in on what you need to do, you need to look at all of the options. You need to research all of the options and then make the best decision from, for you. But don't be, don't, don't be too quick to just decide something. You need to look at all avenues, all options, all possibilities. Okay? Son, oh my God, this card has come out so much today. Your son is watched over and protected as he explores his world. 
only thing I can tell you, a lot of people, there's, there's a lot of stuff surrounding suns right now. I don't have no idea what that is, but that card, I think, has come up three or four times today in, in several different readings. So if you have a son that has passed on, your son is being watched over, this situation can deal with a son. A son could be in a custody battle right now, going back and forth in this situation that's happening, or you could be a son that's, that is experiencing some issues and some problems. Okay, where you're, you're not having self-respect and you've got to explore your options. There's something surrounding that. The Spirit is saying you need to be yourself. This situation calls for you to be your authentic self, which is the basis for your personal power. So if you haven't told or said things, or said how you truly feel in this situation, this is another sign the Spirit is telling you. I need you to tell the truth. I need you to tell the truth in this situation, how you really feel. You have to be your authentic self, even if it's something somebody doesn't want to hear. It's important that you really reveal the truth and have faith, again, going back to trust, that it, it is going to work out because it says you're going to have a favorable outcome if you explore your options, but you're going to have to tell the truth about how you really feel, okay? All right. And then the last one is you're going to have to compromise. So you're going to have to compromise. You can't be so rigid and set in your own ways. You're going to have to compromise. Okay. All right, my loves, if you want to do a private reading, information pertaining to that can be found below. Until next time, bye-bye.